आगे दवा वीडियो आज बात from the studios of Heart and Radio 104.3. My name is David Noah, and this afternoon we are having a special interview with Gambia's finest, who is Sambu, live on JSP Live. So, good afternoon, Miss who is Sambu. Good afternoon, David Noah, mm -hmm. and viewers out there. Mm -hmm. So, welcome to this special edition of the Gospel Talent Show, live on the JSP Live. And today we're here to discuss about your music and about an all-important uh, event that is coming. How excited are you? I'm super excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, to be on this platform and uh, to talk about my music mm -hmm. and um, the gospel industry in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Ms. Sambo, for the purpose of those watching us live, on this auspicious platform this afternoon. Tell them about yourself. Who is Humisambu? Mm -hmm. 
very simple line. <laughs> Mr. Ambu is here to sit there, right? <laughs> yes, um, I'm a gospel singer. Mm -hmm. And um, being a gospel singer, I'm a Christian. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, and um, I'm a teacher. Mm -hmm. I'm an evangelist too. So, Mr. Samu, how long have you been a gospel minister? Um, I can say since uh, my youthful days in uh, a school called New Life Children's Center, mm -hmm. where we were taught to lead as our leaders were doing and we were watching. So, I can say that's where the whole thing started. But um, I took up the mantle um, years back, I can, I can say about four or five years back. Um, being an independent uh, singer alongside to heading or uh, leading a group to a singing group too. So I can say um, the journey on my own is not that, that long, but uh, uh, I'm grateful to God for how far he has brought me to. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. So just for the benefit of our viewers out there, like what must have inspired you to embrace gospel music as a career? You could have just said, you know, you have a beautiful voice, you know how to write mm -hmm. songs. But then what must have inspired you to embrace gospel music? Okay, um, yesterday we celebrated uh, as a mission day mm -hmm. uh, of our Lord Jesus Christ. And what the commission he had given us is go here into the world, preach the good news. And um, that is not only for pastors, nor for priests, nor for you know, reverends. Uh, it's for every Christian, whosoever that is born of God is given this commission too. So I see that, okay, I am not good in talking and preaching, so this is what I'm good in. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, let my, my, my preaching be seen in my writings, in my songs, and uh, that, that's, that's where this thing, you know, that's where the inspiration is from. Yes, mm -hmm. that's why I choose to do my work for the Lord mm -hmm. through my voice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful. So let's talk briefly about gospel music in the Gambia. Uh, what's your perspective about gospel music in the Gambia? Gospel music in the Gambia, okay, let me just say this first thing mm -hmm. that um, we can say we are grateful to God for how far he has brought us due to all these years of, um, you know, um, this journey. But um, it's, uh, it's slow. Mm -hmm. Slow in the sense that um, um, Gambians, I can say, or oh, Gambians, not uh, that embracing that we they have. Uh, to sometimes it make me think, okay, maybe we're not giving them what we do what they need, or maybe we're not bringing out what they want to hear. But uh, um, I've come to, you know, realizing that um, it's really kind of tough. Ambience to embrace the wit they have. Mm -hmm. That's what I've seen. And um, I think that has, you know, made the whole process or the journey a little bit slow and uh, a little bit. A little bit, making it a little bit slow, less of support, and uh, you know, uh, yes, prayers can can take you far, but you you taking a step in trying to push someone will help that person reach his or her goal or her destined place at a you know early and expected time. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's that's all about you know. And then gospel music, uh, mm -hmm. the industry is not big. The industry, like I can't say we have an industry. Mm -hmm. We just, we just this. Um, I can say still work as singers, and um, we are not giving up. Anyways, we are still pushing because uh, looking at it, we are not doing it for ourselves. It's the work of God, and uh, we must do it in the pleasant time or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in your opinion, what do you think that could be the solution to remedy? Uh, the present situation with regards to people embracing their own. Mm -hmm. Because we have seen like other nations like Nigeria, they are the biggest gospel exporters, mm -hmm. you know, right now. You know, they have like big names like Ada, the Sinaj, and all that. Mm -hmm. And we also want our fellow Gambians to also be known worldwide. But it has to start from our own backyard. Mm -hmm. We need to have people to 
really embrace the Church of the Gambia. Yeah. And even the diasporans, they need to sponsor our events. They need to support. But then, in your opinion, what do you think that will remedy this whole thing that you're talking about? Um, Sam, you, you, you've mentioned, mm -hmm. you've mentioned some, mm -hmm. and um, looking at the sponsor side, mm -hmm. um, Gambia here, we know how we live here. Mm -hmm. Those outside, you know what we left home. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, yeah, we only, like we the gospel singers, we only depend on our salary. Mm -hmm. We cannot be, you know, resting our shoulders on the pastor should, the father should, you know, the priest should, uh, the reverend should do this for us, do that for us. Yeah, fine. It's our own ministry, it's our own calling. Mm -hmm. So that's why we try on our own level best to make sure we use our salary to get out of it. But that's not even enough. Mm -hmm. That You could see that uh, most of the Gambian gospel singers, you could hear their songs, like audio songs, but not visual. You know, it's not... A, and, and uh, when you look at the visual aspect of it, nothing is to be shown, mm -hmm. nothing good. That's because uh, we can't afford it. Mm -hmm. It's very expensive to have a, a standard video. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, let's say Gambians out there, you have seen this happening in other countries. Why not invest in your own country mm -hmm. too? Like, it, it's just a, a, a suggestion I'm throwing out there. Mm -hmm. This is what I can hear, and this is what I can, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm privileged to have access to. Okay, why not? I take it back to my own country. Make my own country to, you know, come out like Nigeria, like Ghana, mm -hmm. you know. Um, we can do it here. We can't afford to buy all those stuff. We can't afford to be paying a, a video clip for 20, 25. Come on, our salary is not even up to that. Mm -hmm. When will you save up up to that? Mm -hmm. Family is around. Other needs are all around. Mm -hmm. Looking at, you know, recording to um, studios too is, is, is very expensive. Mm -hmm. So, um, that's a struggle that uh, um, um, I think should be looked up to to bring a solution to most especially Christians out there. Mm -hmm. At least if, if like, okay, a studio has been set out, okay, for Gambian gospel uh, um, music, mm -hmm. a studio being set out collectively, not maybe individual, but collectively. Mm -hmm. Let's have a body. The Christian dom here should have a body whereby um, they should build up certain things. So if, if, if David, I have that, to record my song and I have all cameras all set down. Okay, fine. If you want me to do like payment plan, fine, it's okay. But it will also help the work go further mm -hmm. because uh, as, a, as a singer, I've come to know that God gives songs due to seasons. And if at all you don't have what to bring out that song at that particular season mm -hmm. and time, it's it's uh, the time it will come out, it, it makes no sense and makes no use. Mm -hmm. See other singers out there where they are trending is because they have the privilege to record at any time, to release visual, you know, uh, vid videos at any time. So that so their songs are always in time and in season. Mm -hmm. So you could see that it's like an answer or, or is encouraging someone at a particular time and season. It is also bringing out that, giving that person courage mm -hmm. to face that particular situation or that anything that a person might be at that time. Mm -hmm. So you could see all these are things that we should we should uh, um, try to help ourselves. Well, no one can do it for us, but only us can do that. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's why I'm really, really purchasing on that um, Gambians outside diaspora. When we say we need support, we really need it. And um, it's not uh, for any other thing, but for the work of God. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, Jesus said, uh, whatever you do to the list of their brethren, that you do unto me. Mm -hmm. Everyone is out, you know, we're trying our own to do that, which to be on the on the lane that God has called us out for. So we are called out differently. Mm -hmm. But we're trying our best to be on the lane that God has called out us for. So uh, um, we are expecting you as Gambians, you as, you know, uh, viewers, you as, you know, uh, gospel lovers to come out in your fullness and support and help us to get to where we want to get to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Kumi Sambu, you like said a lot of important points. Mm -hmm. uh, you've called on people out there to embrace their own, that is to support. Mm -hmm. Because in every challenge, there's always a business opportunity. You understand? Mm -hmm. I believe it is left with us Gambians to make sure that we embrace that is which is our own mm -hmm. and make sure that we try to, you know, form a formidable, uh, how mm -hmm. they call it, gospel scene mm -hmm. or maybe association or if yeah. you may call it that way. But then, it takes support because you guys are doing your best to make sure that you go to the studios with your mega salaries. You still go out there, you record, you do a lot of sacrifices out there. 
So with all the challenges that you have faced, have you ever thought for once that you know, let me just uh, you know, quit? <laughs> <laughs> Even as much as uh, I may want to quit or feel like that sometimes, like uh, <laughs> a passion within me won't let me. I might face so many tough times and have maybe that kind of thought, but it doesn't last mm -hmm. because of uh, the love I have for God, the passion I have for music and um, what I believe I'm called out for. Mm -hmm. And um, I believe if anyone is called out, there's always a message behind, behind what you are called out for. And that always rings. Mm -hmm. No matter how, what you face, no matter how, you know, uh, uh, discouraged you feel, and whatsoever you feel like this this message always comes back. It's like God is still trying to remind you of you know what He called you out for. So David, the work of God, like you face mm -hmm. so many, you will uh, um, you go through a lot, but uh, when it comes to quitting, <laughs> that's something that will not last. Mm -hmm. Even though it comes to your mind, it mm -hmm. happens, mm -hmm. but it will not last. Mm -hmm. It will not last. Mm -hmm. God's love and words and encouragement, his word always overcomes that at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we say to ourselves, okay, no matter how I feel this way, okay, if anyone is not supporting, if anyone is not you know, trying to see my own side, mm -hmm. and, you know, uh, as far as I'm walking, like, I will not stop from, you know, mm -hmm. doing that which is needful to see my work go out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to the people, yes. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. Just to remind our wonderful viewers that you log in onto the JSP Live a platform where we are having the extended version of the Gospel Talent Show. And this afternoon, we are here in the warm company of Sister Humis Sambo. So Sister Humis Sambo, you've made mention of uh, some of the challenges that you people go through as gospel ministers. And you've also... Uh, taking the opportunity to call on people out there, especially Christians, the church, you know, to come, you know, put their weights, throw their weights on the gospel ministers and help them set up studios, set up like sound engineers and all those things to make sure that at least we have a formidable uh, gospel um, scene in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to writing your songs, like you may mention earlier that it takes like time and season but then does it also have to take with, let's say, with your personal experience, maybe you go through a personal experience, then you just put it into writing just to edify people that are listening? Yeah, that happens sometimes mm -hmm. because um, as a child of God, when you're going through whatever you go, you're going through with, um, you go back to the word. Now you going back to the word, there's always an encouraging word or what that God gives you, mm -hmm. which encourages you, which, you know, help to uplift you from that which you're facing. Mm -hmm. So some songs too are from, you, you can get some from that. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, God is telling me this at this particular time. Mm -hmm. What do I need to do? Or the word of, this is what I read in the word of God, which I think is really speaking to me, because through, uh, uh, speaking to me mm -hmm. towards what, that which I'm facing. Mm -hmm. So uh, if this could encourage me, if this could uplift me, someone else, is going through that, or mm -hmm. someone else might be going through that, or will be going through that. So this can stand out, mm -hmm. you, you know. And mm -hmm. we believe that uh, um, as children of God, we speak words, and what's are like, we speak words and watch it happen. Mm -hmm. So um, songs are all words joined together. Mm -hmm. So these are words that we speak, we sing, and see things happening and turning around for our good. Mm -hmm. So songs, are, yeah, could be possibly from mm -hmm. that kind of you know, mm -hmm. situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if my memory could serve me right, in 2007, I understand that you traveled to Nigeria to go and study more about music. Mm -hmm. So tell us about your experience in Nigeria. Um, yes, I traveled to Nigeria to study music. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason is because um, I was just doing music. It, the inspiration just comes, and um, one amazing way of me getting some sometimes is, is Mind blowing. Mm -hmm. Like when I'm in my quiet time, I hear like a, just one particular voice mm -hmm. singing. And what I do is that's why I work always with my phone mm -hmm. or a book and a pen, but most likely with my phone. And 
that we jot down that this that which I'm hearing and plan to record it mm -hmm. and then later on work on it to bring make it more correct and bring it out. That's how sometimes most of the times I hear songs and I get songs mm -hmm. uh, being inspired to you know write and work on some songs. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, when you ask me anything about music, I, I don't know. I wouldn't be able to tell you. Mm -hmm. I believe I was just going and flowing through the leading of the spirit. But mm -hmm. also. The Bible also said, um, study to make thyself approved. Mm -hmm. Like I said before, I didn't know. Mm -hmm. If you see me do it, you think maybe I learned it or someone teach me mm -hmm. or whatsoever, but I didn't know anything about music. Mm -hmm. So, and um, uh, studying to make myself approved make me reach out to go to Nigeria to learn a little bit about music. Mm -hmm. At least let me know the, you know, the, the, the foundation, the rhythm, the music. Let me, learn, let me know a little bit mm -hmm. whereby it could help me because at some at, at a point of time in my life I got stuck. Mm -hmm. But I don't know the way forward, <laughs> no, and I didn't also want to go back. So mm -hmm. I said to myself, hey, enough of the you know the doing anyhow, let me go master my craft, mm -hmm. learn how to master my craft mm -hmm. so that I will be able to stand out like you know, like any other gospel artist outside there. Mm -hmm. Like you see them singing, it's not it's not only the um, leading and being part of a choir that made them there. No, some of them they are musically inclined, and you know that helps them go for okay. Because uh, in music, you need to be unique. You need to be unique, uh, and if you understand that, it helps. You need to be unique in your vocals. You need to be unique in your writings. You need to be unique in your delivery, and all mm -hmm. that I didn't know before. Mm -hmm. You know that's why sometimes like. If we didn't know that like, we get stuck, we don't know what to do. But mm -hmm. with all that knowledge, okay, this is what I did before. I need something new. And it's not always only about praying, but it's about what you know now. <laughs> okay, like sometimes it's not only about reading the word, but knowing the word mm -hmm. so you'll be able to use it against the which you are facing. Mm -hmm. It's just that same kind of mm -hmm. thing. So praying will help. Mm -hmm. But you to knowing and acting on that which you know, it mm -hmm. helps a lot too. Mm -hmm. So I stepped out and um, went to Nigeria. It was, mm -hmm. yes, uh, because uh, looking at Nigeria is not like my mother land. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, the Lord, you know, was so with me throughout, mm -hmm. was with me throughout, was with me throughout um, my studies, throughout my uh, uh, practical time, throughout, you know, um, being around other churches and uh, it, uh, the Lord really made me meet some people that I thought I would not meet in all of my life. Mm -hmm. I would just be watching them on TV mm -hmm. and shows and all mm -hmm. that. And you know, the Lord, the Lord is faithful. Mm -hmm. And there, yeah, I've, 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 I've discovered a lot about you know, who the you know when you say the Lord is my protector. Mm -hmm. You you should have a a, 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 a meaning or a real thing mm -hmm. you know that makes you say that the Lord mm -hmm. is my protector. Mm -hmm. Hey Dave, uh, uh, we all know how Nigeria is, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, went there mm -hmm. almost a year, mm -hmm. ten months plus, mm -hmm. and um, you know, <laughs> there's no call like Humis has been admitted. There's no call like Humis had an accident. There's no call like Humis has been kidnapped. There's no call like Humis has been killed or been attacked. You know, all these things are things that I say, the Lord is, when I say the Lord is my shield, mm -hmm. I, you know, I take it from a deeper experience and mm -hmm. uh, the Lord is my shield, the Lord is my provider, he's my protector. I take it from a deeper, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, feeling and a deeper experience and and and, uh, and platform, I can say, mm -hmm. because uh, he's, he, he's, he was faithful and he is faithful mm -hmm. still. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I thank God that the, the journey, um, to Nigeria it was not a mistake, uh, but I believe it's uh, God's own way doing, uh, God's own way of me experiencing Him on the side, mm -hmm. you know, separating me aside to know, to, mm -hmm. to realize, okay, the, the, to also have the full picture of where I am heading to as a gospel minister. And uh, coming back, um, I don't think I am to, to rent or to mm -hmm. sit back and to play around, no. Mm -hmm. I might kind of relax, but it's just a, a pause to, to to really look at a bigger and 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 and, and a, a, a a better strategy mm -hmm. to still launch out bigger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
that's that's uh, that's always the reason of it kind of causing a little bit to watch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just like a hunter mm -hmm. looking at you know a particular target. A target. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. That's the cause. Of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just to remind our wonderful viewers that you watching an extended version of the Gospel Talent Show live on JSP Live. So today we're here in the warm company of Sister Humi Sambo. Mm -hmm. So at this point, it's just, all what we were doing, it was just a background. But the main purpose of our discussion, our meeting, we shall be going into that in a yeah. short while, just to tell people that uh, Humi is coming up with a very big uh, gospel concert. So before we get into that, we'll go with a short uh, music interlude just to give our viewers a feel of how Humis is packaged and made of. So let's just uh, <laughs> listen to this a beautiful piece with Humis Sambut and we shall be right back. <laughs> That'd be <a> nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. 
Yes, all right, all right, all right. Just to remind our wonderful viewers that you log in on to the extended version of the Gospel Talent Show live on JSP Live. So shout outs to you, Mr. Joe uh, Putin, for making this whole broadcast possible. And this is what we need. We need people, Gambians that are even in the diaspora, to see as to how they can fill the gap, how they can make sure that they give opportunities to our gospel artists in order to give them the promotion that they deserve. So welcome back, beautiful <clears throat> viewers out there. So at this point, uh, I wanted to say easy. At this point, <laughs> for me, Sambo, um, yeah. there's something big trending right now. Uh, I'm aware that you you call, you um, embarking on a massive uh, project, yeah. which is the Olmbala, Olmbala concert. Yeah. So tell us more <laughs> about this project. Okay, um, the Olmbala concert is like uh, something that is amazing some people. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, and the name is kind of, the title of it is kind of confusing some people, mm -hmm. but um, it's all about going back to culture, what we know. Yes. Um, that's what we're going back to. That's what we titled it, All Mala Concert. Uh, an example is what I just did. Um, that That's uh, the... As the D hymn being played in Mbala. Mm -hmm. um, the word Mbala is just a music type of genre that we have here in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the combination of uh, drums and uh, what we call marimba, mm -hmm. you know, and what we call the dendai, mm -hmm. and what we call the tama, you know, the guitar, mm -hmm. <laughs> both the bass and the, the bass and the lead. Mm -hmm. um, the combination of it is, is what brings out Mbala. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is what we are bringing hymns, songs into. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know it's something new that uh, um, by the title is something new, but uh, we have gospel songs that are in Bala. Mm -hmm. So having this Bala of a thing in a concert, <laughs> if it's gonna be, it's gonna be uh, something else. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, but it's all about bringing what we have. Mm -hmm bringing out Mbala mm -hmm. to the world. Mm -hmm. We want to also set out that which we have in our nation, that which we have in our culture. Oh, we're going to praise God in our own uh, culture. So mm -hmm. there's nothing uh, new. Some people, there's nothing new. Like Gambians, there's, not, there's nothing new about that. Mm -hmm. But it's just uh, uh, bringing the hymns into it is what is going to make it new. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I want us to speak about identity. Mm -hmm. When it comes to Gam gospel music, mm -hmm. Do you think that we have an identity? Like before you were saying that uh, it's difficult for the Gambian public mm -hmm. to really embrace gospel music. Is it that because probably the gospel musicians are not singing in a dialect that they understand or they are not bringing the Gambianness into the Gambian music? Because if you check like gospel musicians in Nigeria and other places, they try to sing in their own dialect. They use local instruments to sing. Mm. So in your own opinion, what do you think? Do you think that we have an identity? If yes or no, what is it? Yes, we have an identity and that's the reason for this Mbala concert. Mm -hmm. And um, mm, you're going to be seeing different, you know, flavors of Mbala mm -hmm. in this concert. Mm -hmm. I'm not the only one singing. I have gospel singers mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. ministering who mm -hmm. have Mbala songs mm -hmm. ministering. Mm -hmm. But it's all going to be in Mbala. And um, we want to bring out this Gambian, you know, this Gambian... Mm -hmm nest in us mm -hmm. outside mm -hmm. um to trend or to be to for gambia to to embrace us we cannot bring another culture in to try to make them you know embrace us to mm -hmm. try to make them feel it or to be, be to feel belong or among mm -hmm. the only thing mm -hmm. that we can bring out is that we they know mm -hmm. yes and um Mbala is part of our culture. Mbala is what we know. So mm -hmm. that's why we're bringing it out there mm -hmm. to uh, Gambians. And we're saying, okay, mm -hmm. uh, this is what you know. So mm -hmm. we are bringing the gospel, both in English, other different languages, mm -hmm. in this, which you know, mm -hmm. in our culture, bringing mm -hmm. it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's all about Mbala. Wow, beautiful. So when is this gospel Mbala going to be held and where? Uh, I can say... Seven days to go. Wow. <laughs> Seven days to go is next week, Friday, the 21st mm -hmm. of May. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, it's going to happen at the Dance Hall, mm -hmm. 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yes. So we all know when it comes to gospel events, there are a lot of like logistics here and there running yeah. up and down. You know, <laughs> as we speak, I know it's just seven days to go. And I'm sure you still need like support here yeah. and there. So you have the opportunity to speak to people, especially our Gambians that are in abroad, in UK, in America, in, in you, you name it, Australia. So what's your message to them? Because at the end of the day, we need to make sure that we own up to our own music and we have a Gambian voice, which is from Istanbul, and you're staging an all Malah concert. What's your message to the people out there in order to make sure that they support this event? Okay, uh, to the viewers out there in and out of Gambia, I am just um, saying that um, uh, David has said it, that we need your support and uh, it's just uh, seven days to go. We have so much to cover, like he said, uh, running up and down because of so much of, you know, logistics to take care of. Um, it's not really easy. Um, I'm here, like I'm super tired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm super tired of running up and down. Uh, please, um, just saying support the gospel mm -hmm. because um, you know how um, our country is and um, supporting something that is uh, gospel is not something that, you know, one that is not a Christian would love to do. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and going out there looking for support, some might turn you down because mm -hmm. it's a gospel thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, they're not supporting and some are turning down because, you know, of, you know, reasons best known unto them. But mm -hmm. what I'm saying is uh, I'm pleading for help and support because um, there are so many things to cover when it comes to the PA system, like it's uh, something that We've not even covered up yet. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it comes to um, the three minute live, is something else. Mm -hmm. When it comes to uh, instrumentalists, like we have one here who is uh, John Kwasi, mm -hmm. he's, he's also helping out and I'm uh, really grateful to him mm -hmm. and the other team members that he's trying to mm -hmm. gather up. You know, it's just that, mm -hmm. okay, um, he's helping out, but mm -hmm. no way to like, we have to place value in talents too mm -hmm. yes he's not he's not like really trying but we need to support and help them too so it's something like to bring them on board too is not really easy and mm -hmm. um we've been um pushing and pulling uh, you know to make practice going on to make you know try to make something sorted out and some of the things are being sorted out but halfway and mm -hmm. all that uh have to be covered up and it's really like a, a big weight on, <laughs> on me and mm -hmm. um I truly can't do it all alone. Mm -hmm. I truly can't do it all alone. So I'm counting on you all to really look back here and support mm -hmm. the gospel, yeah. Support this Bala concert. Mm -hmm. So it will come out successfully and um, God's name will be glorified at the end of the day, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there you have it. Uh, our sister, Gambia's finest, Humi Sambu, will be staging an all Bala gospel concert on the 21st of May which is just a week, seven days mm -hmm. a week. Uh, that is uh, next week, Friday. And she has been making uh, mention of a lot of stuff. And in order to lighten that weight upon her, mm -hmm. because we all know that staging a concert, you will need to rent a hall. Yeah. You know, you need to pay the instrumentalist. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you need to rent stage yes, lights, yes, chairs yes, here yes. and there. There is a lot of logistics. Yes, yes. And we are talking about making the difference. We are talking about people to take ownership of our gospel music in the Gambia. And I believe to our listeners and our viewers watching us live right now, uh, you could make that difference. You know, if we all put our resources together, you know, we can make a difference. We can support our home Istanbul. And this will be the genesis of greater projects that we'll be doing to make sure that we feature other gospel musicians so that you can hear and feel that in Gambia, we really have talent. But then the only problem, what is limited, uh, limited us in the Gambia is because of uh, the inavailability of support. Mm -hmm. And I believe for now with the program of Kumi Sambu, we can make the difference if we all throw our weight on her and make sure that we make this event a success. So Kumi, just to reinforce again, why do you think somebody listening to us right now should really support this event? Um, the reason why you should support this is because um, number one, it's the work of God. Mm -hmm. Number two is uh, a showcase of Gambian gospel singers. Mm -hmm. Two, number three, is the promoting of, of, of uh, culture mm -hmm. and bringing gospel into what we have mm -hmm. as as uh, as a culture. Mm -hmm. 
scripture. Mm -hmm. And another thing is uh, we're not, uh, the gospel uh, um, is within us Christian, but it's not only for Christians, mm -hmm. but uh, it's not allergic to anybody out here as mm -hmm. far as the person is an unbeliever. Mm -hmm. The word is for that person. Mm -hmm. So we are not having Christians out here. Alone. We're not inviting Christians. Alone. We are inviting non-Christians. And, you know, uh, it will be of a, uh, uh, I can say a big mockery if they kind of come and <laughs> and not seeing, you know, that of uh, of, of the week they are completely sent to that mm -hmm. see, mm -hmm. uh, um, it will really show something else that mm -hmm. is you know different from that which we give on to them, which mm -hmm. is the word. And um, them coming, seeing everything set and organized and in place, mm -hmm. we kind of give them a feel of the kingdom, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. feel of the kingdom of how the kingdom is and how mm -hmm. it, it, it is mm -hmm. or, because it will not be different from church mm -hmm. anyways mm -hmm. but it's all about the gospel and nothing less mm -hmm. yes so uh, these are all reasons why you should help support mm -hmm. the gospel mm -hmm. yeah help support the gospel. Mm -hmm. okay so there you have it the reminder that you log in on to the special edition of the gospel talent show live mm -hmm. on jsp live so thank you, each and every one of you, for being out there watching this uh, special broadcast. So we shall be going for another a break, uh, so that we, uh, for another music interlude, so that we just have a feel as to what to expect. Come on the twenty-first of May, which is seven days away from today. So, like I said earlier, you can make a difference. There is nothing too small. Whatsoever you have to make sure that this event is a success, you could contribute. You know. Help in Dara Dal, help in Dara. Luai Amrek, Munga contribute towards this event. I'm sure we have JSP Live, uh, Joe Potin, we have Sister Marisambo out there. You could always channel your funds to them and they will make sure that those funds will reach us here to make sure that we make this event a success. So at this point, our instrumentalist is ready. We shall be going for our next music interlude, then we shall switch into the local language yeah. for the benefit of our local audience. So stay tuned. Um, just to say something little before going into this. Uh, mm -hmm. This song I'm about to sing, um, a lot of us knew it at a time uh, of that political impasse that mm -hmm. we're having in the Gambia, and mm -hmm. I was called and um, I was the mm -hmm. And um, I should write a Thanksgiving song. Mm -hmm. You know, at a state like that, he's thinking of Thanksgiving, <laughs> <laughs> that mm -hmm. the Lord is going to do many things, you know, but it's something that was hard for people to believe mm -hmm. because of what we are going through and that political impasse, mm -hmm. you know, and um, uh, but the Lord moved mighty. Mm -hmm. When when people were saying, um, we need the head, mm -hmm. we need the swing board, mm -hmm. we need the head, we need the head, we need the head, we need And that's, that's something that, you know, mm -hmm. uh, the Lord has done great and mighty things. He has broken all chains and given us back our smile. Mm -hmm. And that's why we, we keep saying, I mean, the smiling coast of Africa, mm -hmm. not for any other reason, because the Lord has been on our side. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> so this song, sit back, listen to the lyrics and praise God with me. Hallelujah. <laughs> Yeah. 
small reason why you should really support homegrown talent, you know, and today we are happy that we are having this uh, amazing broadcast, and uh, special thanks to Mr. Joe Potin yeah. and Sister Marisa, who uh, bought well Mendy for putting this whole uh, broadcast together, and we look forward to your amazing support, because this is what we need to do. We have a stake. If at all these young people are out here, they are singing gospel music, you know, we need to start sponsoring their events. We need to sponsor gospel radio programs in order to make sure that the gospel reaches the ends of the earth. So for the benefit of our local audience, we are just going to switch in the local uh, dialect, which is Wolof. So my guest are going to ask me if you have a new set and you have a new JSP Life. Today, I'm going to ask you if you have a new one. I'm going to ask you if you have a new one. So if you have a new one, I'm going to ask you if you have a new one. Hanga, dega na ne humel bumbak, yani wana tega, a tega humel bumbak. So nama boka kwa wanyo, lamo neka diha ute kanya. Okay, a simbo kanya sedan yule na nani yuko neka zetu la sasanta, a simbo kiki kachani yule na nani yodi ne, um, lenyo, duma tega simu tu da mbala concert, um, duma gla lo hamne sibi Gambia, um, we have the next week Friday on the twenty first of May. Um, where we make an issue, I may not put you fan at Bena, this will be like done. See, you know, Bena walk to sing on, Bobla walk to us. Um, we get to the Lol Mutan Bala concert, uh, Nepal Man Kese, Mafa, uh, Mafa take a best book, no, no, I didn't have a neighbor at your hamna, you know, you know, the Midomi Reo Milan, your hamna, now lane, you get go go to send on board, your hamna, uh, young times in gospel music be like neka. I know your ham name you get the flu mark of it. I'm serious with Gambia. So you never find it as a woman kissing and I said that the inset and your ham name and tam yen ham name are I'm not I know it. I'm if you catch any doubt. I'm you get you see it's a moon when I say cotton. So okay, so Malacon Sadby me can't kind of come over on you. Prepare secondly, La Monica Sati Hati Hati because you never come in there. Put a show easy wood. Anga yang you wanna fail? Come the instrumental is in it. Yang you wanna rent plus? So tell. La Monica sate hati ha. Towards here even bini. Hati hati ha. Nika na loham ni jahal no malol wai tam jahal diala. Baby gerem wat es baby gerem what you are baby my song for ni ni de malay ni top ni jadi wahai pesen teh hati ha. Di same tu no ham ni kom ni ham ni bini. Dimbale Ndawifi, Zika, and there has been a Dimbale for me this program in the Kana. They had to hide it, and I don't have to come in the BDPA system, and I don't have to come set in the Sohla, and I don't have to share my thoughts in the Kana. So, I don't have to see state lights in the Kana. So, I don't have to see the way I'm going to be in the Kana. I don't have to see the Kana. I don't have to see the Kana. 
mula comfortable ah uh, loli ta mi jahan na man lol ah uh, mm-hmm. ni kada lo hamne sonne ni si timbal tor tor sa mm-hmm. ah uh, kunya mo den man kena ni moko mona def way ah uh, mbo si bole lun lun kom lo mon dal ndaut lo mon ndaut ah ah si lo mon mo bole ak suma bos mo bole bu ki bole bu kale yeb di na do ah ah tenyo am tam ay ndawi rew mi kom ñom ñom hari ni ko gracia bas ñu am kom susan korea ñu am kom debora ñu am jlg ñu am lance ñu am business square ñu ñu jele ku nek kom o mu di nek da ñi andi ñep bolé bena place bes be dal du yomba so du yomba du Uh, okay so lo mona wa comme askandi su ko defé ñom tan di lañ gëna ci gañu out gañu support event bi ni um ma ngi ñaan ko nek pour mu gëna ci mu support mu di mbalé because uh ni kana lo xamni mo ko pour uh pour man kessé ni kana pour ndawé rew mu yépp ah be paré ni kana tam ni ko pour kessé kessé ñu gé gema waxtan ak ño xamné né koy kertien da pour ñu ñew pour ñu ñew pour ah ah ñu kéké bës bi ndax té ah kaddu yalla bi du ko ñu kessé du kaddu yalla bi ah nekul né pour yéna fa somi nit pour bay ngéné dédé pour ñep la so pour ñu wara téw bës pour ñu lu yalla di def ci seen dunda ah dina né ko lu mag ma na so ñi ñaan pour ñu ndi bali ah pour bës bi di né kala lo xamné lool la ni di ngéré mo da ak téna ñu ñu bolo ñu ñu jamu yaala ñu gërem yaala pour ñu ko lo xamné da def nako sun dundu def nako té am nako tam ci kalam té def ci ñun loolu yépp nek na lo xamné war na doon pour ñu ngi ci bañ ak tam pour gëna pour gospel gam ya bi comme ñi wéy ci ñu mo ñu dem ci kalam tam wasé té né té kay dimbal mota da do da ay wax da té té so né kala no xamné yow tam bo défé nonu tam bo ci dé ka tam né ka fofu pour nga mëna né wa man tam mëna ba ko béra gambien mu ci béra gambien mu ngi falé xam nga ah su di man muy kenen parce que man dama gomlé ah su dud man benen ko ci sinu mu é ba fofu ni né ko fa gambien la man gambien la té tamit ah kén so di ma né kén am mu yo tamit di nga mëna wël parce que di nga am ko ba ko am na té lolu neex na tor pour nga am ko ba ko ak o top tamit am o kenn ko ba ko lolu daaw na ya wa na ma bëgga pour nga wa askan bi comme ni ticket ci ndegi ticket ci nak ñaata la biko xam na né xam nga ñu ngay wa affaire support xeñ na am na ku ñu nekk di sétan ko ko am na doole bi am na katan bi xeñ na pu jëna jëna up to 50 tickets 100 tickets ñu mëyé ko pour adis yu ci ñu mëna ñu so ticket ci ñaata la ah ticket ci 200 da ci la mhm et petron ci mu ngi dem for 500 mhm and mi ngi am seat yo xamne pour yo xamne dina né ok ngir bu ko ñew ci match won da dem di ko support mo amu ñu bari bari lu daw li lañ am mi ngi am seat yo xamne vip la mu ne 1000 da ci ah ko ko ak 1500 okay ah pour ñu xamné dañoo bëgga dimbalé ngir ya true general ticket pour ñeneen o maybe ah ñeena nga nek fofu bëgga sa mbokka pour mu tew ah suñ table ya ngi ngi tegu pour né sa dimbal ndax xamné ci lu né ka right now ci ah period bu né ka jafena pour ñu bari ñu bari comme dina mbëgga ñew tamit way alis bi nek na nga xamné comme ti hati hala tamit ah wa mu nga dimbalé ñeneen ñu né tamit euh ndax dimbalé ndaw mu nek ko ko ci right place ci place bu wara nek mu gën mu nek ci place bo xamné da euh waru fa nek da so ticket ci tour ñay da ci okay so euh naka nga paré ya ci bis bi ni bis bu mu suñu comme ni on the 21st of may 
Just to remind our wonderful listeners that you watching a special edition of the Gospel Talent Show live on JSP Live. So shout outs to the whole team down there in the UK, Mr. Joe Potin, and shout outs to Sister Marie Sambu Bodwell Mendy. Yeah. And shout outs to Mr. Bodwell Mendy. He's, these people are just amazing, yeah, you know. Amazing. You know, they are doing their bit to make sure that they support gospel music in the Gambia. So if we have like 10 people like them, like, yeah. uh, I, I believe gospel music in the Gambia will, will be something else. So uh, let's just come back quickly to the English dialect. Mm -hmm. um, with regards to the tickets, how much are the tickets uh, at the gates come on the 21st uh, of May? The tickets are 200 analysis mm -hmm. for the day and mm -hmm. um, veterans are going up for 500 analysis. Mm -hmm. And uh, to others that can that, that say, okay, the 200 that I'm very small for me, let me support in my own little way. Mm -hmm. We create uh, seats of VIP, mm -hmm. uh, single and VIP mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. them. And the, sing the VIP singles uh, is just uh, $1,000 seats, and the VIP conference is at one five. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, given the prevalence of COVID 19, uh, what are the precautionary measures that are put in place to make sure that anybody that comes to the program? Come on the twenty first. Uh, everybody will. They will have like a conducive environment, backed by the Holy Spirit, of course. Yes, backed by the Holy Spirit. We're not scared. 
<laughs> we are not scared, and mm -hmm. uh, um, we have uh, because we are not scared. We mm -hmm. have little measures mm -hmm. to say, okay, we will be very, very uh, mindful of the association of you know people and the seats and all mm -hmm. that. So that's something we are really, really mindful of, and uh, and we will say uh, um, they will sit comfortably. And, you know, the place will be conducive for each and everyone coming mm -hmm. in that day. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for somebody watching, maybe they are in the diaspora, mm -hmm. they would like to support in one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Maybe, like you said, the tickets are just $200. Yeah. Somebody might just be like to buy 100 tickets yeah. Yeah. because we want young people to come. We want the old, everybody, you be, be you Muslim, Christian, Jew, Gentile, we, there is no disparity. Yeah. We want everybody to come. But somebody is out there, probably they are led to support, maybe to buy tickets. For 50 people, 100 people, what's your message to that individual? Um, to say to those that have in mind to buy tickets for young ones or you know, one thing I would want to say about the young ones mm -hmm. is help a young one to be where he or she should be. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, because we all know God is uh, everywhere, but he's not where he's not exalted mm -hmm. or his name is not glorified. Mm -hmm. Yes, so to help one to be in such place that maybe you don't know who mm -hmm. to, we know who to. Mm -hmm. And we're not only looking at the the Christian kingdom, we are looking at the youth at night, mm -hmm. the community at night. Mm -hmm. Because if, if we are to be better, we need to be better together. Mm -hmm. If we are to move, we need to move together. That's mm -hmm. what will help us reach at, uh, in, a, in our destination at a better, in a better way. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, you are welcome to help support young ones. And knowing mm -hmm. that uh, during this pandemic, so many things have gone on. You know, have been stopped and all that, so some will find it hard to be in the program. Mm -hmm. So you helping out, uh, you helping those ones that are finding it hard to be in that place, uh, being there will be will, will be grateful. Yes, mm -hmm. and that will be a very good thing that you do for that person. Mm -hmm. uh, but the Lord will do it in the life of that person. You help them to change. You help them to, you know, to um, add value into people's life. You help them want to be in the right place. You help them mm -hmm. want to praise God. That's a great thing that you're doing. Yes, so as we come to the tail end of this interview, mm -hmm. uh, we just like to encourage our wonderful people out there, most especially our diasporans, to make sure that let them always connect back home. Let them always support activities that are trending in, in home soil, because that's the only way we can also like push and project the gospel to the outside world. Mm -hmm. And again, let's not only stop in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. We know that we have a lot of like diasporan programs you know, the sang Mary programs in UK, in America, and on all those places. We look forward to a time where we'll have like gospel musicians from the Gambia, the likes of Fumi Sabo, mm -hmm. to also travel, to go and, you know, minister in those places. Yeah. You know, so we encourage the organizers, whenever you organize events like that, remember our gospel artists in yeah, sure. And remember gospel radio programs, you know, learn, uh, let's support our programs so that, because airtime is not free, you know, in Gambia, we, we struggle with internet. We struggle with, with a lot of stuff, but then with the little support that we have, I believe it will go a long way. Yeah. So, who miss as we are coming to the tail end of this interview, what is your message uh, to the general public watching this uh, broadcast or listening to this broadcast? Um, uh, there's one thing I want to say, mm -hmm. because uh, when you say support, some people might think that uh, you're just there asking, 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 mm -hmm. but we have a reason why we ask, and the reason mm -hmm. is... Uh, uh, just for the sake of the gospel, yeah. yes. Um, because uh, looking at what we have, what do you have that God has not given to you? What do you own that God has not given unto you? Mm -hmm. So you giving back God what He has given to you, it means of uh, it, it's it's a form of a total surrendering of mm -hmm. and and you know um, a spread of the gospel in your own way. Like for example, uh, um. I was on, uh, in church last week, Sonia, and my pastor was saying that there's a, there was a lady that always sweep the, the church, mm -hmm. and uh, someone came and said, ah, you're sweeping the church? You know, it, it looks as if it's a low thing to do. It's mm -hmm. a, you know, it's a, it's a something of low class and all that. But hey, what did that lady say? It's, she said, I'm helping my pastor win souls. The mindset, mm -hmm. what you're giving is not for any other thing. It's for the spread of the gospel. Mm -hmm. You are also helping in your own way. So uh, the, the, I think we should change our mindset mm -hmm. and see that the gospel is spread through whichever way. If I can help with maybe a Dallas, if fine, that's what I can help with. Mm -hmm. And God who sees the heart knows, knows deeply within that 
this is, you know, g- genuine and sincere, mm-hmm. you know, and um, for the sake of the gospel support, because uh, Christ also said, like I said before, what you do unto me, unto the list of thy brothers that you do unto me. Mm-hmm. So what you do is not for me, it's for the gospel, and it's all about the gospel of Jesus Christ, our Lord, and as our Savior. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, indeed. It's all about the gospel. It's all about projecting that message, making sure that we fulfill that call, that special call to make sure that we spread the gospel through the ends of the earth. And that is what exactly we're here to do this afternoon. And we want to say a very big thank you to each and every one of you for taking time out of your basic schedule to follow us on this special edition of the Gospel Talent Show live on JSP Live. And we thank all those behind the scenes who made this whole uh, uh, broadcast possible. Indeed, uh, God will continue to bless and replenish you. Amen. And we look forward to your donations. We look forward to your support in making sure that this whole uh, gospel concert is a success. It's a mega success. So before we leave you, uh, I will engage Humis uh, and the instrumentalists to to play a very nice song. That would be our parting uh, ministration for this ap- afternoon. But then notwithstanding, we'll be doing more of this uh, broadcast. And we need your support. We need support. We need support in any way you can, whether small or big, help in that. Because at the end of the day, anything that you do to the list of your, uh, what Jesus said, anything that you do to the list of my brethren, that is what you do unto me. So we, we applaud each and every one of you that are led by the Spirit right now to donate. We say thank you to you. And we say special thanks to JSB Live. We say special thanks to... Mary Bodwell Sambo Mendy, who say special thanks to Mr. Bodwell Mendy for the support that you continue to give to gospel artists in the Gambia and beyond. We look forward to the show in seven days' time. We, we pray and hope that all of you will come out in your like numbers to support the gospel in the Gambia. And we look forward to a time where we'll also come to the UK and other places in America to, to celebrate and show the Gambianness, the, the culture of the Gambia to the outside world. So, Humi Samba, I guess you're ready. So, thank you very much for being there, and we love you all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, this is the last song I'm, I'm singing out is a song I wrote for the Gambia. It says, I am you, you are me. We are they, and they are we, and we are Gambia. Let us share the love and care for each other, for we are one nothing to despise. Let's put a smile on each other's face to keep us strong. Mm-hmm. So this is a message going out for every Gambian. Despite the religion, despite the tribe, we are one. And if you're leading, lead us well, because if you fail, we fail. Mm-hmm. And if you're teaching, teach me right, because if I fail, you fail as the teacher. So um, the teaching side is, is not only in the schools, but homes, mm-hmm. family, yes. Uh, uh, um, bosses out there in offices, you're all teachers, you're teaching us, so teach us right, so we have a better country. I am you, you are me, we are them, and they are we, we are, I am you, you are me. We are the day we are the Let us share in love and care for each other. We are not to despise. Let's put this night on each other's face to keep us strong. If you leave, lead us well. If you fail, if you teach me, teach me right. If I fail, you fail too. Be the one from the ground. Together we can build Gambia. For the Gambia, our homeland, we can strive for what we say. Every day, that I don't believe in unity. Let me say today, so we sing in our hands. Let's be a word, so we sing in our hands. Let's be a word, so we sing in our hands. Let's be a word. So we sing in our 